It's a huge step change for our industry to move from diesel to electric, and I'm happy to take part in it. In 2016, we started a feasibility study to see whether or not C-Zone was a viable ore body. And from 2016 to 2019, while we were working on that feasibility study, we recognized that electrification would have a lot of benefits to our mine site. We really wanted to embrace electrification as the future for our mine and potentially a future for the industry. With the C-Zone project approval in 2019, we began our battery electric journey with several auxiliary pieces of equipment. We then moved that on into more of the material movement, bringing in the 518B as our first major piece of infrastructure. The LH518B was a really attractive option for us because it has the battery swap technology opposed to the quick charging, and that really bodes well in a block heaving operation. Battery swapping ensures a lot more utilization of the equipment, whereas a fast charge, you do need to have downtime to facilitate that charging. When the LH518B first came on site, we defined KPIs that we wanted the machine to hit to build our confidence in the machine before we purchased it. First one, availability of the unit. Second, how long was the battery life in typical operation? And third, what were the, the typical operating parameters with the equipment? How fast did it muck? How fast did it tram? Was it comparable to a diesel? For all the trial parameters we evaluated, the LH518B exceeded all of our expectations. Probably the biggest surprise in terms of a difference comparing it to a diesel piece of equipment was the sheer power. The LH518B has significantly more mucking power. In a traditional diesel, you have to rev the engine to get all your hydraulic power, whereas in the BEV, it's the maximum amount of hydraulic power right from the get-go. For me, it was the lack of noise and the lack of heat. Compared to our current diesel LHD fleet, the battery produces maybe 10% of the heat comparatively. It's astounding how much less heat it produces. So it's been just great for our underground workplace and environment. Sound, huge impact. Uh, you can basically have a one-on-one -on -one conversation next to the operating piece of equipment, which you could never do with a diesel. So from a productivity and efficiency standpoint, it's miles ahead of the competition in terms of the diesel equivalent. We're seeing increases in productivity compared to the diesel equivalent, LHD. Tramming up ramp on grade, we typically estimate our diesel LHDs to move at about seven, eight kilometers per hour whereas we're seeing speeds of 12 to 14 kilometers per hour with the battery LHD. We are seeing an improvement in our cycle time. With the LH518B, we've seen that the energy consumption is 20% of the diesel equivalent at LHD, and that means that the overall energy cost compared to diesel is about 10.9% while this group is operating. Part of the BEV strategy is to be a good corporate citizen. We recognize that greenhouse gases around the world are climbing and we want to try to reduce our greenhouse gas footprint. When the scoop is in full production, we're reducing our GHG emissions by about 700 tons of CO2 equivalent per year compared to a diesel LHD. What we've seen from our current data on the LH518B is that changing one diesel LHD for a battery electric LHD can reduce our greenhouse gases up to 2%. As far as changing the batteries go, there's been no issues. The auto swap, auto connect technology has been smooth and seamless. And without having to exit the cab to unplug the battery, it's been a really nice benefit for the operators. What we've seen with the Sandvik battery swap technology is that we're able to reduce our peak power demand by allowing the charging time to occur over a larger time duration. And so ultimately for C-Zone, we do want to spread our power demand over the largest time possible to reduce the peak power demand on our infrastructure. Here in New Afton, we've had really good results with Sandvik battery equipment. We've always had a very good relationship with Sandvik. For a long time, we've been using Sandvik drills and bolters underground, 
and to continue our relationship and move into automation and now battery electric vehicles has been just a natural progression. Every mine has a capital purchase or a maintenance replacement coming up in the next few years and they would be missing out if they decided not to investigate or pursue battery electric technology.